In all my years of calibrating and reviewing displays, I've never encountered a home theater projector with native Dolby Vision support, so much so that I was beginning to believe the rumor that Dolby laboratories won't license Dolby Vision on consumer projectors due to variability in lumens output, screen size, and gain. But this projector right here has restored hope, because as far as I am aware, it's the world's first home cinema projector with inbuilt Dolby Vision support, beating offerings from more established brands such as BenQ, Epson, JVC, Optoma, and Sony to the post. Let's find out how it performs. Hello everyone, my name is Vincent Thieu. I'm a display reviewer, and this projector is the Chic A5U, projecting onto a Vividstorm motorized ALR screen. It's manufactured by Chang Hong, one of the largest TV manufacturers in China. In terms of branding, CH stands for Chang Hong, IQ stands for intelligence, and it's pronounced as Chic, as in the word Chic, stylish, elegant, fashionable. I've come a long way since the days of saying 3D to now dishing out pronunciation advice. The Chic A5U is a 4K ultra short throw laser projector. For those of you who are not familiar with the increasing popularity of this product category, the laser light engine delivers a bright and stable image that doesn't degrade as fast as lamp-based projectors. And the ultra short throw form factor means that the machine can be placed close to the screen so it won't cast a shadow every time someone walks across the living room. The Chic A5U is shaped like no other projector I've seen. It looks like a giant Echo Dot. I have to avoid saying Alex. Ah, out loud to avoid triggering it in your home. The lens is slightly offset from the center, and since there's no lens shift functionality, it's impossible to place the projector exactly in the middle relative to the screen, if that's the kind of nitty-gritty detail that bothers you. To supplement the inbuilt 5 watt speaker, the projector comes with an additional pair of speakers shaped like Star Wars paraphernalia, or indeed... Rated at 20 watts each, these external speakers can go impressively loud with detailed emits and treble, although we did crave for a bit more bass. If you wish, you can put the speakers away altogether and use your own soundbar or home theater system. During use, we found the background fan noise to be somewhere between the quieter VAVA projector and the Xiaomi 4K USD projector. The fan operates at a constant speed and so it's easily masked by a normal sound volume, and at least there's no high-pitched coil whine which plagued many 4K ultra short show projectors from China. The connections are grouped into two compartments on the projector, including two HDMI 2.0 and two USB ports, and even a VGA input. The Chic A5U uses a 0.47-inch DMD chip from Texas Instruments, which achieves 4K resolution via mirror flashing techniques. Thanks to its laser light source and ultra short throw distance, the picture was bright and punchy, surpassing any other lamp based 4K DLP projector at this price point. The Chic A5U offers a number of picture presets, although only one of them, namely My Mode, allows the settings to be adjusted, which are also shared between SDR and HDR modes. Compared with all other Chinese 4K ultra short throw laser projectors on the market, the A5U offers a more comprehensive array of calibration controls, but the layout is all over the place, and so can be quite confusing. First, under My Mode, you can adjust the color temperature which is a single point RGB balance. According to Chang Hong, this primarily works at the M-Star chipset level, and so its effect is limited to the My Mode picture preset. In addition, by long pressing the settings button on the remote control, you can summon the color management submenu which allows you to calibrate not only red, 
green, blue, cyan, magenta, and yellow in terms of hue, saturation, and luminance, but also another separate single point white balance system. Chang Hong said this works on the level of the DLP chips, and so will affect all picture modes, thus making it more useful to dial up the original blue cast in game and Dolby Vision picture presets, which otherwise cannot be adjusted. Outside of these picture settings, there is also a light setting control under the system page, which changes the light output of the projector, so it's best to select the correct option for your needs before starting the calibration. Even with the presence of a color management system or CMS, color accuracy is still left a lot to be desired after calibration, which is par for the course for all Chinese 4K ultra short throw laser projector we've reviewed to date. Because the SDR settings are shared with HDR, we found that if we over-adjusted the CMS, the DCI-P3 and REC 2020 gamut coverage would shrink significantly in HDR mode. In the end, we decided to only calibrate the single point white balance, which was sufficient to make colors and skin tones look more natural across all types of content. By the way, if you purchase this projector from our link in the YouTube description below, we will send you the calibrated settings we obtained on our review unit. There may be a coupon code to give you some discount too. Just email us your order number, but you need to make sure that you click specifically on our link below before buying, so we can see your order in our backend and send you the calibrated settings. Thank you for your understanding. Although a number of Gamma presets are available on the Chic A5U, the majority are skewed, with the only linear one tracking closer to 2.2 which is more suitable for viewing in a room with ambient light rather than a dedicated bat cave. Uniformity was supremely clean on our review sample. Our camera managed to show the bottom two corners to be darker, but in real life, we absolutely didn't notice it at all. The Chic A5U is equipped with motion interpolation technology, again a first among Chinese 4K ultra short throw projectors we've tested so far. From our testing, the interpolation only reduces judder and not motion blur, since engaging MEMC does not increase motion resolution beyond the sample and hole baseline of 300 lines. The internal refresh rate of the projector is still locked at 60Hz, so without MEMC enabled, all 24 frames per second movies as well as 50Hz broadcast content we get in the UK and Europe would still exhibit visible judder and the odd frame skipping. But at least on the A5U, you can engage MEMC to smooth out the judder, although even the low setting would introduce unmistakable soap opera effect or SOE. The smoothness of 50Hz programs generally benefit from MEMC too, but you may see interpolation artifacts and frame drops from time to time, and due to the internal refresh rate, MEMC unfortunately won't work for 4K at 50Hz or 60Hz video signal even if it can be selected from the user menu. We doubt many owners will be using a projector to watch standard definition interlaced content, but we ran the SMPTE RP133 test card in 576i on the Chic A5U anyway, and found upscaling to be acceptable albeit with some flicker in high frequency regions. Unlike other Chinese ALPD projectors, the Chic A5U didn't apply undefeatable noise reduction to sub-4K content, so film grain and fine detail was reproduced faithfully. For watching 4K movies, DCI-P3 color gamut coverage came in at 86% UV, while REC 2020 was 67% natively. HDR presentation on home cinema projectors has always been challenging since they cannot reach the peak brightness of direct view displays but Chang Hong has done a couple of things right on the Chic A5U to improve matters. 1. The projector managed to resolve up to code value 68 on this black clipping HDR10 pattern from diversified video solutions, which is better than 99% of projectors we've seen, and means shadow detail won't be crushed. At the other end of the contrast ratio spectrum, the A5U resolved up to 1500 nits on this white clipping pattern, but more importantly, it's the world's first home theater projector to support the proprietary Dolby Vision dynamic metadata format. We managed to trigger Dolby Vision from a Muridio 6G signal generator, 
suggesting that the Schick A5U is not using the low latency version of Dolby Vision famously found on Sony televisions. When playing Dolby Vision content, users can select between Dolby Vision Bright and Dolby Vision Dark picture modes, with most of the picture settings unavailable, which is why we mentioned earlier in this video to use the white balance controls that will affect all picture presets during calibration. In practice, the Dolby Vision implementation on the Chic A5U worked well to preserve significantly more specular highlight detail that would otherwise be blown out in HDR10 on most projectors. For example, in this very tricky scene from the 4K Blu-ray of the Mac, the HDR10 presentation would clip the detail in the clouds and of the cage against the sunlight, but playing the disc in Dolby Vision on the Chic A5U would retrieve all these bright highlights. While impressed, we noticed two slight issues with Dolby Vision presentation on the A5U. 1. Sometimes, the picture can look too dark in terms of average picture level or APL. Perhaps the correct brightness and color gamut data were not being fed from the projector to the Dolby Vision mapping system? To combat this, we generally prefer to use the Dolby Vision bright mode on the machine. Also, very rarely we saw a quick white flash with some Dolby Vision and HDR10 content. It's random, so unfortunately we couldn't reproduce or film it. For gaming, input lag measured 48 milliseconds in game mode at 1080p resolution and one frame higher at 65 milliseconds with a 4K HDR video signal. While these input lag figures won't satisfy any hardcore gamers out there, they are around 50% lower than the 100 plus milliseconds seen on other Chinese 4K USD projectors, making reflex-based games more tolerable rather than excruciating for casual gamers. Two more things I need to mention before wrapping up, neither of which are deal breakers. One, the Chic A5U doesn't support 3D playback. It's a company-wide decision by Chang Hong to ditch 3D since 2018 as the industry moved towards 4K HDR, and given how poor and non-existent the 3D experience has been on all Chinese 4K USD projectors I've reviewed, I certainly don't miss it. 2. There's no keystone adjustment either. Again, not a big loss. Keystone correction is a digital manipulation process that degrades the picture resolution. That's why I always try to avoid using it, preferring to rely on physical projector placement instead to improve geometry. To sum up, the Chic A5U is an exciting addition to the competitive 4K Ultra Short Throw projector space. Video enthusiasts will probably still give it a wide berth due to subpar color accuracy and lack of 5.5 pull-down 424p films. But compared with other Chinese 4K USD projectors on the market, the A5U offers a number of improvements, which is probably reflected in its higher price. There's motion interpolation on board to reduce jitter for 24Hz and 50Hz content. It doesn't apply undefeatable noise reduction to sub-4K content. The grayscale can be calibrated at a system level to affect all picture modes. The user menu is in English. Input lag is significantly lower. And most importantly, it supports Dolby Vision Dynamic Metadata format out of the box. As a brand, Chic may be a relative unknown in the Western world, but on the evidence of the A5U, this won't be the last time we hear about them. The Chic A5U is backed by a two-year manufacturer's warranty, with warehousing, customer service and after-sales support handled from the UK. As mentioned earlier in this video, if you purchase the projector from our link in the YouTube description below, we will send you the calibrated settings for the unit we reviewed. It won't be as good as getting your projector calibrated in person, mainly because of screen variability, but it'll at least be better than factory default settings. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.